Tesla is building a massive foundation at Giga Shanghai Giga Factory. It could be for stamping, it could be for multicasting, or some people even say that it could be even for Tesla preparing to produce the Cybertruck at Giga Shanghai for the Chinese market. But I'm going to tell you about that part a little bit later. These two images and their similarity show that Tesla is possibly building a massive multicasting machine at Giga Shanghai to increase the body of its Model 3 and Model Y vehicles produced at Giga Shanghai. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel, give us thumbs up and like this video. If you find it informative, follow us on Twitter and um, give us some applause if you would like to support our channel. You know that we are getting Giga Shanghai updates and reports from our friend Vuva. Yesterday, a Twitter user named James saw this incredible image in Vuva's report, which I showed the other day and compared to Tesla's multicasting machine. He asked question writing the following. Is Tesla building the massive multicasting machine in Shanghai right now? Look at the shape and look at the shape of what is being built. So you will see those, these two images, the black and white images of multicasting casting machine. Look at the shape of that and also look at the shape of the what's being built right now by Tesla at Giga Berlin, uh, Giga Shanghai. I'm sorry. So I was looking at some comments and I'm bringing some my, some of my thoughts. And the uh, the general attitude is that Tesla relies on on IDRA for casting machines. This is the Italian company. IDRA announced 8K ton machines orders from Tesla in late March and is working on it. Whole body casting is a new level of complexity. Maybe they are doing a research and development on it, but unlikely to deliver in time to fit in that shop. So we'll see on that. One person looking at these images on Twitter says it can be the stamping machine. He writes, the amount of people I've seen confused by this one foundation is incredible. We have never seen casting machines needing deep foundations like what was built here. We have seen stamping machines always needing deep foundation. This has to be stamping. So before I go any further, I would like to ask your friends, do you think this is casting machine or stamping mach machine uh, foundation that Tesla is building at Gigafactory Shanghai or what is and for, for what purpose? Keep that Cybertruck Cybertruck thing in mind, please, because I'm going to come back to that. These look nearly identical to the massive isolation foundations in Giga Texas, which are purposely for stamping machines, notes user Matthew Readouts on Twitter under James's uh, tweet. Also note that the big pipes coming out the right side make me think that this may be a tank, like an underground oily water separator system that all the runoff goes through and on sites like like this, that may uh, that uh, that many large diameter pipes don't make sense if it's just a footing for a machine. Another user named Paul writes that he remembers seeing a speculation on a YouTube channel that the foundations were quite similar to the two previous stamping machines, perhaps suggesting it's more iterative than transformative. He thinks it's increasing. Um, uh, in the model, it, it's increasing the Model Y output. I, I mean, he thinks that Tesla may be increasing the Model Y output or the upcoming $25,000 Tesla model, which some people say may be called Tesla Model True. Some people say the image shows stamping, not multicasting, like I said to uh, two people also, but we don't know. What we really know is that something really big is happening right now at Giga Shanghai because this is not a normal foundation. Don't you think? friends in my understanding also some people say that's how the cyber track is made it's a one piece exoskeleton you know that cyber track is going to be made as one piece exoskeleton could it be that tesla is preparing giga shanghai for the cyber trucks production for the chinese and asian automotive markets because we have seen some chinese people in china making a a, a replica of cyber truck remember gas cyber truck that appeared online several years uh, several months ago 
on uh, in the Chinese social media. So I'm assuming that Cybertruck may be very um, popular in China. And why not? Why not produce it in China for the Chinese market? Because we don't know how many uh, Cybertruck orders they may be, how many China Tesla China is uh, receiving in uh, in China. So because this is huge, and we know that Cybertruck is going to be made by one exoskeleton, one body skeleton. Maybe this is the Tesla is preparing Giga Shanghai for the Cybertruck's production uh, for the Chinese and Asian automotive markets, and the announcements will come later. I don't know. I would like to hear your thoughts what this huge and massive foundation can be. Now, while we're talking about Giga Shanghai, our friend Vuva, uh, from whom this Im original image came, has a new video on May 2nd in which he has recovered the previous images and videos you know that he was stopped after that uh, incident in uh, automotive uh, in auto sh shanghai uh, on tesla incident he was stopped by uh, security guards at uh, uh, at the Tesla Giga Shanghai and was asked to uh, delete or not to fly his drone. So Wuwa has a new video saying this is the last recovery video, the video of the north uh, area uh, of Giga Shanghai, the Central Research and Development Center and the East and Southeast expansion lands cannot be shown this week. He says, I don't know if the plant security will be there waiting for my presence next time I go to the Shanghai plant. Uh, uh, Vuva, thank you very much for all you do. You know, if the security lets you flying your drone, would be great, and we will look forward to seeing some. If no, I mean, we will, we can all live with that. Okay. Vuva also says that talking uh, talking about the progress of the second phase of the supplementary works in the video at the time of aerial photography of the second phase of the supplementary video. There were not as many workers working on the site as last week, which may be at that time the workers were taking a break or lunch break or supplementary works between the two buildings of the second phase have started laying the roof so we'll see friends let's keep watching and uh, the what what Vuva has to share with us in the meantime this is armin harayan from talknews.com i'll look for i will look forward and would love to hear your comments about uh, uh, the this massive foundation that uh, tesla is building at giga shanghai what you think it may be and please share this in social media uh, subscribe to our channel we have a very good community look at the discussion in our channel and give us thumbs up like this video if you found it informative and if you would like to support us please send us some applause we would greatly appreciate have a great day friends god bless you and peace be with you let's keep watching buva's video see you soon